so thank you so much. First of all, in, uh, on behalf of the Pan-American Health Organization, I'd like to thank, thank you for the opportunity to be here and uh, share some experience from our region. Let's see if I can move my slides. Um, I asked for the, oh, thank you. So the outline of my presentation is a little of background, the HPV vaccine introduction and coverage in the region of the Americas, what is the impact of COVID-19 on immunization programs and some aspects of the PAHO uh, technical cooperation. Uh, sorry. Uh, as a background, uh, in 2017, WHO uh, estimated that in Latin America and the Caribbean, we have a cervical cancer prevalence uh, around 16%, which means the second highest prevalence for women after sub-Saharan Africa. In the region of Americas, we have each year around 83,000 women diagnosed it with cervical cancer and more than 34,000 women die from this disease. Regarding the introduction of the HPV vaccine in our region, you can see you have in this map, we have 43 countries and territories with the vaccine introduced. Uh, in the map, you can see that most of the countries have introduced this vaccine in the last years. So uh, also I'd like to highlight that in all the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, the vaccine, HPV vaccine and other vaccines as well uh, are completely free uh, and the government buy, buys this vaccine and distribute the vaccine uh, for the population. So currently we have 90% of the girls in the region of the Americas uh, living in countries where the vac vac HPV vaccine was introduced. Uh, the most uh, common vaccine uh, utilized is the quadrivalent vaccine. Uh, uh, the HPV vaccine is included in the PAHO's revolving fund. I don't know if everyone is uh, familiar with the revolving fund. Revolving fund is a um, technical cooperation uh, mechanism from, w, from Pan American Health Organization, which buys the vaccines in bulk and uh, the prices are negotiated with uh, manufacturers. So nowadays, the dose of the HPV vaccine, the quadrivalent vaccine is uh, around $10. Uh, 14 countries in 2019 uh, reported uh, neutral gender vaccination. The other countries are just vaccinating girls. This graph is about the HPV vaccine coverage for girls in 2019. We have a huge range uh, between uh, the, in, uh, in terms of uh, percentage of vaccination from, 90, as you can see, from 91 to 2%. But if you analyze the, this graph, we see that 50% of the countries uh, have uh, a coverage higher than 50% and 50% lower than 50%. So it means that we still have to work a lot in our region in terms of the coverage of the vaccine. We have all the countries or most of the countries with the vaccine, but we have uh, many countries with low coverage of this vaccine. Talking about the impact of uh, COVID-19, uh, I think this slide is uh, almost uh, something that my, the previous speakers uh, have uh, mentioned, and it's the same in our region. Uh, the impact of COVID-19 in our region is really uh, concerning in regarding the immunization. Uh, all the health uh, services are completely has completely have completely focused on COVID-19. No one talks another thing about different than COVID-19. Um, due to the, the social distancing recommendations, parents don't bring children to the health centers. We had also flight cancellations, closing borders, which uh, um, 
brought a lot of problems in terms of uh, supply of vaccines. Many campaigns, uh, uh, vaccine campaigns were uh, suspended, especially measles and rubella. And you had this year, um, last year actually, uh, some um, outbreaks of measles in Brazil, in Mexico, in Argentina, and the campaigns were delayed. And also, uh, as was mentioned before, two uh, lockdowns for long periods in most of the countries restricting the vaccination activities. Uh, here, I'd like to share with you some uh, sur surveys that we have done in our region uh, during the pandemic. Uh, on the left, you can see the information about lockdown from May uh, to July. Uh, mostly of the countries had a partial lockdown, which is the purple, uh, uh, color in the in the in the graphic. Uh, the, on the right side, you can see the functionality of vaccination service. In most of the countries, had around thirty percent of the the services in uh, vaccination services suspend or partially suspend, which of course caused a, a huge problem in terms of coverage of all the vaccine, including HPV vaccine. Uh, as was mentioned uh, by Paul, uh, HPV vaccination escape based is really one of the most important strategies in, in terms of uh, vaccination and it, it happens in our region too. The countries uh, which have good uh, or better uh, coverage uh, are the countries that are vaccinating uh, at, uh, at schools. Uh, so with school, uh, schools closed and all the other factors that we mentioned before, we had a huge negative impact on uh, HPV vaccination, uh, vaccination coverage in 2020. So for 2021, countries must plan activities to vaccinate courts from 2020 and from 2021. But uh, something that we have to consider is the introduction of the vaccine, uh, COVID-19 vaccine, which now uh, all the countries are just thinking about that. I think we are gonna have in 2021, a difficult year also regarding uh, vaccination with HPV and other vaccines because all the attention at this moment in the countries is uh, about COVID-19 vaccine. And I think we have to think how we are gonna uh, maintain and improve the coverage of all the other vaccines, including of course, uh, HPV vaccine with this scenario of the introduction of COVID-19. So, this graphic is doses. Uh, we do not have uh, yet the coverage for 2020, but I we wanted here to show you how was the impact of the all the measures about the COVID-19 in terms of um, doses applied of HPV. So here we have uh, five countries: Ecuador, Colombia, Panama, Bolivia, Paraguay, and Honduras. And you can see that the comparing 2019 and 2020 in the same period, which is January to, to August, we see a decrease in 75% in terms of uh, doses applied in Ecuador, 51% in Colombia, 47% in Panama, 46% uh, in Bolivia, 30% in Paraguay, and 9% in Honduras. So in general, the, it's really, really big, uh, the impact, the negative impact in, uh, in terms of um, vaccination, uh, HPV vaccination during 2020. Um, some countries had uh, innovated vaccination strategies during the COVID pandemic. For example, influenza vaccination, they countries did in, in phases. Uh, 
first the high risk groups and then other groups, for example, starting with the elderly and healthcare workers, and then they pass to another kind of groups. Vaccination and mobility teams, drive through vaccination, vaccination by appointment, vaccination of essential personnel, such as police and military. So I think this is something that we should discuss and have um, really new ideas to share with countries and discuss with countries how we are gonna approach next year the vaccination. Uh, very quickly, this is uh, PAHO and WHO recommendations for maintaining immunization as an essential health service. Uh, Paul mentioned the guidelines from WHO. PAHO uh, also has a numerous of documents uh, in our web page in many different languages uh, in order to uh, support countries how to maintain the uh, immunization service. Um, I just want to share with you some of the activities that we have been doing in terms of uh, um, vaccination and uh, cervical cancer program. We have been working together uh, always with the, the, the goal of HPV vaccination towards, towards cervical cancer elimination. We had uh, been doing regional meetings. Two mid, uh, weeks ago, we have a meeting with the, all the Caribbean countries. We also uh, um, uh, elaborated a vaccine, a vaccine coverage calculation guideline. We have uh, a special uh, cost-effective model in our region called PROVAC, which uh, helped the countries in support, uh, to support decision-making about HPV vaccine and other vaccines. We are working with uh, WHO and ICO in a document about vaccine impact measurement. We uh, are very close to the country supporting them in introduction plans of the vaccine and also how to uh, approach rumors and crisis situations by uh, adverse events. And also we are working with in a very nice project uh, called uh, ECHO Latin America with um, uh, the University of Texca Texas, uh, with, uh, we have a monthly teleconference with countries with a lot of participants discussing uh, many, uh, all the, the aspects about cervical cancer elimination, including vaccination uh, as well, of course. And I think, thank you, over to you. <laughs> 